Everybody on their feet, probably trying to stay warm. <laughs> this is the first time it's felt like football season for us all year. And that guy put on a show that we won't soon forget when we were here a week ago. Yeah, but this is a different breed of animal he's going against today, Brad, as you know. 40 to kick. Clapton camped under it, and the wind took it and sailed it. This will be a 39-yard field goal attempt to try to give Purdue the lead, and somebody got a hand on it. So Purdue has two good-looking drives once they have to punt, and then they miss a field goal, and Penn State will take over. First down at the 39. 74 yards for Drew Brees. Going to throw quick after Sutherland. Got a block from Lane. Sutherland down the sideline. Still on his feet. Stepped out of bounds at the nine. Brees, quarterback draw off the shotgun. Broke a tackle inside the five, and he got down to the two. Looked like he was going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage or maybe lose yardage, and he bounced out, used his straight ahead. Touchdown, Purdue. The first touchdown allowed in the first quarter by the Nittany Lion defense all year. He thought the toughest game of the year so far, and they are right now, trailing 7-0 early in the second quarter. Lamar Arrington has not really been a factor so far. This is the third time Purdue has started from its own 20. Empty backfield from the shotgun. Pump and go. Nope, going down. Arrington causes a fumble, scoops it, touchdown. And he wasn't a factor <laughs> until that play. I was just going to say, you said he wasn't a factor, but he is a dangerous player when you put him and bring him. You drop him back in the secondary, he's not nearly the player that he is when he crosses the line of scrimmage. Purdue trying to regain the lead, tied at seven. Breeze wants to come back to the right side now in a crossing pattern. He got Daniels at the 35 30. Daniels inside the 20 puts a move on Macklin. Now he spins down to the 10. He's down to the nine yard line. He's going to like that one when he gets a look at it <laughs> from the shotgun. Breeze scans the field. Touchdown, Purdue. Donald Winston. A nine-yard rocket from Drew Brees. How about Illinois knocking off Michigan That's today? something, huh? Third down and six, Penn State. Purdue trying to cover up for a mistake on special teams if they can get a stop here. Thompson, deep. He's got a man open. Drummond, got it. Drummond, touchdown. And they've been working on Dunnigan all, all day. The red shirt freshman, and finally, Drummond beats him. 39 yards were the beating him for the score. And Purdue didn't pick it up either time. Travis Gorsh from 37. Kick is blocked. Arrington, I think, got it. LeVar Arrington, who blocked one to finish off the Pittsburgh rally, has just blocked one to take away any possibility of Purdue leading at halftime. With her first half statistics, and as you can see, the yardage in the passing category, 223 for Drew Brees. And the 14 points that uh, Penn State has scored has come off of turnovers by Purdue. Offensive play that uh, Penn State can put up there on the board, a 39-yard touchdown pass to Eddie Drummond. Right. Remember, Michael Hawthorne out with a hamstring, and that's going to put some pressure on Chris Popton. Thompson, plenty of time. Deep sideline for Fields. Got him. Shoppy Fields in stride. One man to beat. He won't catch him. Touchdown, Penn State. 78 yards. The first drive of the second half is a window to what the teams talk about at halftime. And Penn State obviously says, we can beat their corners. Let's go after their corners. Shoppy Fields beaten. Dunning. Yeah, probably. First down at the 36. Breeze had a tip by Courtney Brown and intercepted. Can Breeze get to him? No. Touchdown, Courtney Brown. What an individual play. Well, we said the stars would have to shine 
for Penn State defensively, and they have. Arrington with a touchdown, and Courtney Brown with a great play, knocks the ball up in the air and runs it in. You won't see one any better than that by a defensive end. And I think that's why you saw the conservative call on third and long on the last offensive possession for Penn State because they're riding their defense right now. Purdue likes to cut block. And Courtney Brown has seen enough of that, so he played off of the cut block, kept his hands up. The attempt is 27 Here, yards. Here's the guy to watch right there, yep. number 11. That'll tell you the story about how this is going. Well, he got up in the air on that one, too, but finally showed it the kick. You know, maybe on these uh, field goals, they ought to use a sta staggered count. Purdue is number two in the country coming in in takeaways. They'd love to take one away here. Here's Casey. Heavy pressure. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. Pump fakes and Turner from behind. Ralph Turner, ball loose. Purdue's got it. There's another takeaway. Is that the first for Purdue? Yes. What a time. Sedwick Brown in the backfield. First and goal, Purdue. The fade, Lane, did he catch it? Touchdown! Maybe even a quarterback draw. Nobody in the backfield. Four wide outs and a tight end. They fake it to Sutherland. The pooch inside, and he got there. Little shovel pass. Lane got the touchdown. Lane got the two-pointer. Penn State at the, midfield. And here's Watson bouncing outside and into the clear. Kenny Watson inside the 20. All the way down. It's first and goal. Penn State at the five-yard line. He rips off a 45-yard run. Look and see what was going on. They didn't want to wear him out. This should be a chip shot for 40, but he had two blocked last week. Movement. As the kick is up and good, Drew Brees, they run in the extra tight end just before the snap. Will he get it? No. And the ball is loose. The officials got no indication. Penn State says they've got it. He was met, and he, they do have it. Penn State's got the football. Ascari Adams with the big play. They're going to line him up for a 47-yard field goal attempt. If he hits it, this one would be out of reach for Purdue. Yep. If something goes awry, Drew Brees gets his hands on it this again. Could, this could be a trick play, too. It could be a forward pass, a little shovel pass, something safe. Or he told him, just don't get it blocked. Kick it, kick it high. They will kick it. And he didn't get it. Purdue's going to get the football back. He missed it to the left. 59 seconds left. And the Boilermakers... I like a cat with nine lives. They got at least one left. Another upset after what they did a week ago to Michigan State. Breeze asking for quiet. Breeze, plenty of time. Deep middle's open. Colbert's got it. Inside the 30 to the 28. The clock was... looks to his wristband and from the shotgun. First down, Boilermakers. Drew Breeze flares it out at a man wide open. Brown out of the backfield. Inside the 15. Entering the quarterback. Penn State's nine-game winning streak and number two national ranking very much in jeopardy. Purdue trying to come back for a win. Breeze, pump fakes, fires incomplete. That unblemished. Second and ten. Single coverage. Single coverage down here at the bottom. He goes to the right instead to Lane. Incomplete coverage by... You got single coverage on your three wide receivers. Daniels and Sutherland to the left. He pump fakes to the right. Still wants to go to Lane. Now scrambles. Throws to the back of the end zone and throw it away. Good coverage. And maybe the college football season. We'll find out right here. It's fourth down. It's Purdue's last chance. Let's go this way. Go to Daniels. On the blitz. Breeze comes back for Daniels in the corner. Didn't quite get there. And LeVar Arrington and Mac Morrison both hugging Drew Breeze. They know what they were up against. Inbounds and give him a shot. Penn State is 8-0. They continue their mastery of Purdue. And for the first time in 11 games, Purdue has lost at home. A tough one, but a huge win for Penn State to stay unbeaten 31-25. As Joe Tiller and Joe Paterno meet at midfield.